So we're still talking congruent triangles. Again, a congruent means there's all six parts are the same. They've all got twins in another triangle. So the triangles are exactly the same, but I don't want to have to measure all six parts. We've already shown just knowing one part won't allow you to make twins. Knowing two parts won't allow you to make twins. So now we're up to three parts. What if we know three parts of triangles? What three parts would get us this? So let's start with knowing all three sides. All right, so I got sides 4, 3, 6, and 2, 9. Um, I don't remember which is which. So here we go. Let's put it together. I'm trying to lay them on top of each other is always tough, actually. Come on, move for me. Doom, 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 doom. Rotate this up. Rotate this down. Getting them to fit exactly is always tricky. But that's pretty darn close. All right, let's try with the uh, big side down. And let's go a little over here. It's kind of this idea. If I gave you three sticks, how many different triangles could you make out of those three sticks? And would someone make a different triangle than you made? Now, our numbers aren't going to be exact here because trying to get this dot perfectly lined up on dots is, is difficult. But we're going to get it close. Oops. I want you to turn. Oh, you're not going to turn for me, are you? I got to turn this one. So I got to turn that one there. Boom. All right. Um, we know the three sides are the same. Let's uh, measure those angles. Actually, I don't know if it's going to do this right for me, but 41.5. Twenty six, seven four, forty one eight. Now I'm thinking that forty one eight two and the forty one five five are the same. So again, it's not going to be perfect, even though you know we want things to be perfect. Um, you know, for what I'm trying to do with moving things, and not being able to put the dots exactly on. Those things are the same. 111, 111, 41, 41, 26, 26. So if you know all three sides, you can make exactly the same triangles. Awesome. So we need to know all three sides. We can make congruent triangles. Now let's try all three angles. Let's look at that. Um, now here's the thing, if you don't remember. If you know two angles, you know the third. Because they have to add up to 180. So, um, But some people think it's just magic that I do that. So let's make an angle with a given size. Let's make our 70. Uh, which way do I want to go? Clockwise or counterclockwise? I want to go clockwise. There's our 70. And I'm going to throw a ray through there. And then from... Put a dot on here so that I can make a 50 right up here. And I want to make a 50. Right? 70 and 50. And this I want to make, I think, clockwise also. Um, did I click 140? I might have. Dun, 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 dun. 500. Oh, that's why. All right, uh, 50 clockwise, boom. So there's our 50 clockwise, and we'll throw our ray through there. I said I'd throw a ray through there. And we can see that just knowing, t actually all three parts, because we know what that third one is. This is the same as angle angle, um, which didn't work before, so. Yeah, we make two different triangles. Just on um, all three angles, 50, 70, 120, and then so that one's going to be 60. 
So that doesn't work either. So knowing side, 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 knowing all three sides, yes, remember that. Knowing angle, 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 no. Their dilations of each other, they're very similar. They're going to have um, proportions, just like we've talked about in the past. They will be proportional. You know, 326 has some proportion of that, and so will, um, so will this side will also be proportional. So, 354, 596 will be proportional, and 326 and 549 will be proportional, and so will uh, this other side. But it didn't work for congruency. It works for similarity, not congruency.